Hello and welcome to the 2020 Watt Hi-Fi Awards. My name's Joe Cox and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Watt Hi-Fi. And I'm Jonathan Evans, the Editor of Watt Hi-Fi Magazine. And we're here to present a special edition of the Watt Hi-Fi Awards, where we'll be celebrating all this year's winners and announcing our products of the year in each category. We'll also be announcing the winners of our five special categories. Our Readers Award, voted for by Readers of Watt Hi-Fi, plus the Innovation of the Year, our Temptation Award, a new entry into our Hall of Fame, and our Outstanding Contribution winner. Of course, this year we're doing things a little differently, and our usual award ceremony has become an online-only affair. This means there's no opportunity to share the stage with our winners, or indeed the rest of the team. This year we'd like to start by paying tribute to our friend and colleague Andy Clough, who sadly died just a few weeks ago. Andy was most recently our brand director and he dedicated the best part of 25 years of his working life to Watt Hi-Fi. Andy was a well-known and much-loved member of the Hi-Fi industry and he will be sorely missed, not just by all of us on Watt Hi-Fi, but everyone who knew him in the wider industry. But if there's one thing we know about Cluffy, it's that he would have said the show must go on. So let's get into the winners of the 2020 Watt Hi-Fi Awards. Let's start with a big category, it's TVs, and we have eight winners, spanning 43 inches to 75 inches, and featuring our first 8K TV award winner. Samsung takes home our three most affordable awards with a terrific 43, 50, and 55 inch set of TVs for really not a lot of money. There's also an award for a relatively affordable 65 inch Sony. If you're prepared to push the budget, we have a brilliant 48 inch OLED from Sony, plus two Philips OLED TVs at 55 and 65 inches, and for the ultimate 2020 TV experience, the 8K Samsung Q950 is our pick. But for our product of the year, it's Sony's first 48 inch OLED and perhaps the best sub 55 inch TV we've ever seen, the Sony KD48A9. Now we've got your next TV sorted, it's time to talk about soundbars and sound bases, or as it's turned out this year, simply soundbars. Four great winners in 2020, offering everything from a budget but well worthwhile upgrade to your TV's sound, to a complete Dolby Atmos surround sound solution that really does sound as good as a room full of speakers. It's an impressive fourth year in a row now for the Yamaha YAS207 as our favourite affordable option, and there are two awards for Sonos with its compact beam and Atmos Sporting Arc, while Sennheiser's Ambio is the ultimate option. This year's product of the year? It's the new addition to the list, the Sonos Arc. Dolby Atmos surround sound plus brilliant multi-room music functionality make it a winning choice if your budget can stretch to it. Now it's time for possibly our most popular category, and certainly the biggest. It's stereo speakers. This year's list of winners feature new products from B&W and KEF, as well as plenty of familiar faces that remain the best in class. Dali and Elac continue to share the spoils for affordable stand mount speakers, joined by the new B&W 606 S2 Anniversary and KEF LS50 Meta, two special edition speakers that proved to be very special indeed. A pair of Proax complete our bookshelf speaker selection. Our floor standing winners are an increasingly famous five, some of which are appearing for the third year in a row. They're winners from Fine Audio, Dali, Wharfdale, Proac, and Spendor. Completing this year's speaker lineup are the ever dependable Ruark MR1 Mark II desktop speakers. But taking home the product of the year accolade and proving there is serious value in developing a new absorption technology it's the KEF LS50 Meta. So 
time for turntables now and a look at the best ways to spin your vinyl, whatever your budget. Rega has dominated this category for years and 2020 is no different, with wins for the Planar 1, Planar 3 and Planar 6. Simply put, you can't go wrong with a Rega. But there are alternatives. Project's Primary E remains our most affordable recommendation. The Technics resurgence is demonstrated most impressively by the SL1500C, while the Verter DG1 demonstrates just how good vinyl can sound. But when it comes to our product of the year, there's little surprise. We just can't look past the Planar 3. Congratulations once more to Rega. Now it's time for our first special award, it's the Reader's Award. This year's winner was voted for by thousands of Watt Hi-Fi readers, who chose from a 10-strong selection featuring some of the most popular products from the site this year. Our very shortlist included Hi-Fi and home cinema products, and there were plenty of votes for the Denon AVR 2700, the Sony XM4 headphones, Rager's EO amplifier, and the Arcam SA30 streamer. But in the end, there was a clear winner taking home almost a third of all the votes. And while they definitely offer stellar performance, we think the appeal here for many people is the unique retro style. Once again, we're more than happy with our readers' tastes because this year's Reader's Award 2020 goes to the stunning Wharfdale Linton loudspeakers. Now on to one of the most popular categories of the past few years. We've perhaps reviewed more wireless speakers than ever this year, with action at every end of the price spectrum. We have four winners in 2020 from a selection of brands that are very familiar to the Watt Hi-Fi Awards podium. JBL's Flip 5 is a brilliant portable option, while the Multiroom Audio Pro add-on C3 remains a great choice. There's another Audio Pro winner further up the price spectrum, while the name Muso QB2 continues as our favourite premium wireless speaker. And for offering premium hi-fi sound from a single box, this year's product of the year and winning for the second year in a row is the name Muso QB2. The headphone market has seen plenty of change over the last few years, but if you want the very best possible sound quality, you probably still want a pair of wired on-ear headphones. If you're finding yourself spending more time at home, it's perhaps better to opt for quality over convenience, and that's exactly what you get from our two Grado winners. The open back design may not be great for public transport, but it's ideal for top sound. And joining the Grado headphones in this year's winners for the fourth time, are the excellent Bayer Dynamic Amaron premium on-ear headphones. But there can be only one product of the year, and it's the ever-excellent Grado SR325E headphones. Congratulations on another successful year to Grado. Next up, it's in-ear headphones of the wired variety. And we have two repeat winners together with a new addition, although the winning brands remain the same. Sound Magic returns with its unbeatable budget earphones, the E11C, and Klipsch is back again with the T5M wired. Shaw is also back this year, but with a new model, and it's the Aeonic 3 in-ears that take our award as the best option over £100. And our choice for product of the year was an easy one. 
Nothing could beat them for performance per pound value in 2019, and the story remains the same in 2020. This year's overall winners are the Klipsch T5M Wired. On to Blu-ray players now, and in 2020, that means 4K Blu-ray. If you want the very best picture and sound, then a 4K disc is still the way to go. So which machine should you buy? Luckily, the decision's fairly simple. We haven't seen a huge number of new disc spinners this year, and that's probably because our current favourites are going to prove so hard to beat. For less than £200, you can pick up the excellent Sony UBP X700. While if you want to up the ante, you can get a little more performance from the premium winner from Panasonic. Two repeat winners then, and one repeat product of the year. This year's best Blu-ray player remains the Panasonic DP-UB820. We're all no doubt missing trips to the cinema this year, so how about creating your own small slice of big screen entertainment at home? Nothing beats the real thing, but with this year's four winning projectors, you can get pretty close. Epson takes the first two spots with the superb EH-TW7100 and a great step-up option with the 9400. While if you want to get truly serious, the Sony VPL VW270 delivers incredibly good images as you'd no doubt expect for £5,000. And this year we have another premium offering, a return to form for JVC with the DLA N5, which really will have you feeling like you're in your local movie house. But while we were blown away at the high end, it was the level of quality on offer for more affordable projectors that really caught our eye this year. That's why the 2020 Projector of the Year is the Epson EH-TW7100. Our next category sees another quality quartet, it's music streamers. It's never been easier to listen to any piece of music you like wherever you are in your home. But to borrow a famous phrase, if you're going to build a music streaming system, why not do it with some style? All these four hi-fi streamers do just that, offering serious audio performance alongside the streaming convenience. Audio Lab and Cambridge Audio deliver superb options under £1,000, while there are step-up models and then some, thanks to the NAD C658 and the name ND5XS2. Great options at every budget there, but proving you don't have to spend a fortune to get great quality performance, this year's Music Streamer Product of the Year is once again the Audio Lab 6000N Play. And from streaming separates, we move on to music systems. This is a wonderfully varied category where almost all of what you need to play your music comes in one neat package. Yes, it's an eclectic bunch we have here with a Denon CD system standing shoulder to shoulder with more traditional looking streaming setups in the form of the Marantz and the Name, and a couple from Kef that seem to have come in disguise as a pair of loudspeakers. Something for everyone, no doubt, but it's one of the Kef duo that take our Product of the Year title. And it's the LS50 Wireless 2, a remarkable improvement on an already award-winning product.
From streaming, we move on to DAX. A digital to analog converter is the clever piece of kit that turns the digital files that more and more of us are using as the source of our music into a signal that the rest of our equipment can actually use to make a sound. Technical, but extremely important then. And here we've got six of the best. With memory stick sized offerings from Cyrus and AudioQuest, a bargain desktop DAC from iFi, and three amazing, and amazingly named, winners from Chord. But our product of the year could really only be, once again, Chord's remarkable cutest. Our next category is CD players. Yes, CD players. You may be surprised to hear that huge numbers of people are still buying and enjoying the good old compact disc. Of course, you don't need to worry about buffering or bandwidth, nor cleaning a needle or turning them over. Never underestimate the effectiveness of CD playback. Provided, of course, that you choose a capable player. Luckily, we have two such machines to recommend this year. The Morant CD 6007 is our affordable award winner, while the Cyrus CDI will really show just how good a CD can sound. But we can only have one overall winner, and new for 2020 and delivering a solid upgrade on its predecessor, our product of the year is the Marantz CD6007. Now it's time to reveal another of our special awards. It's Innovation of the Year. And if you've been paying really close attention, you will already have heard mention of this winner. We all know it's what's inside that counts. And this innovation proves that what appear to be relatively small changes can in fact be significant upgrades. KEF's metamaterial absorption technology tackles the sound that leaves the back of the tweeter and can cause havoc with sonic distortion. A small circular maze of tubes are tuned to absorb a range of frequencies for a clearer overall sound. And, crucially, the performance is proof of the theory. The technology is found on the KEF LS50 Meta and the LS50 Wireless 2, both of which are Product of the Year winners in their respective categories. It seems, once again, that you really can't argue with the science. Congratulations to KEF for winning our Innovation of the Year for its Metamaterial Absorption Technology. On to set-top boxes now and we're going to level with you, it's not the most dynamic of categories. That being said, it doesn't make our repeat winners any less deserving of our praise, nor diminish their quality. No, but in a jam-packed awards event, we can perhaps keep it brief. So, congratulations once more to SkyQ for winning the best subscription box, and to Humax for its class-leading FVP 5000T PVR. And for a really rather impressive fifth year in a row, our product of the year goes to Sky Q, truly the ultimate home entertainment system. Now here's a category with a completely new roster of winners. Only two winners, but two new winners nonetheless. As always with smartphones, while we consider every aspect of the phone's performance in our rigorous review process, it's the picture and sound quality where we really focus our attention. And one product in particular really matched our mantra. That's right, the Sony Xperia 1 II is our brilliant mobile for music and movies delivering an unrivalled 4K picture performance and class-leading high-resolution sound. For a more affordable alternative, we can't look further than the Apple iPhone SE, 
which delivers predictable, all-round Apple quality. Ultimately, though, the product of the year decision proved simple. Sony's Xperia 1 II delivered everything we look for in a smartphone in spades. We've certainly been valuing radio more than ever in 2020 with its ability to bring voices, stories and of course music into our homes with the familiarity and friendliness of an old friend. And we have two familiar, if not old, friends in this year's awards. The Pure Evoke H2 once again takes home our award for the best radio under £100 while the Robert Stream 94i is a feature packed radio and streamer if you're prepared to spend a little more. Two winning radios then to keep you company this winter and for years to come. But for our overall product of the year, it has to be the master of all trades, Robert Stream 94i. On now to speaker packages, and we urge you to never be afraid to put a few more speakers in your room than might seem necessary. Thanks to the likes of Dolby Atmos and DTSX, surround sound really has taken on a whole new level in recent years, and it's a great time to revisit the idea of a home cinema speaker system. And there are five here that will definitely do you proud. The Wharfdale DX2 system is simply a bargain, while Q Acoustics has two winners moving further up the price range. The Dali Oberon 5 remains every bit a winner at yours under £2,000, while try as we might, we couldn't find anything better than the Monitor Audio Silver 200 AV12. A famous 5 for 2020 then, all of which will bring a whole new dimension to a night in front of the TV. And for hitting most accurately that performance per pound sweet spot, the product of the year is once again the Dali Oberon 5 5.1 system. This year's tablet category has a familiar look to it, but it does include one new product. While the Amazon Fire HD 10 is back again as our best budget tablet, it's the new iPad, the 8th generation, that wins the premium award. Two great options there for doing, well, pretty much anything on a medium-sized portable screen, but our product of the year is the Apple iPad. It's time to turn our attention to the Temptation Award, where we highlight one of our favourite high-end products of the year. Plenty to choose from as always, showing expensive audio equipment really isn't going to go out of fashion anytime soon. Are you ready to spend £10,000 on a turntable? Then we have just the product for you. This year's Temptation Product of the Year is the exceptional Vertair Acoustics MG1 Mark II Mystic. Of course, it's a staggering sum of money, but this system does at least deliver a level of sonic fidelity to justify the price for anyone fortunate enough to be in the market. And for the rest of us, well, it's good to dream. While you can now get great sound without one, the stereo amplifier remains central to most people's hi-fi systems, which is perhaps why we have a sick strong lineup of winners for you to choose from this year. There are three new models to celebrate, with two of them coming from British manufacturer Rega, who it seems are having quite a year. The Rega IO is our new entry-level favourite, 
while at the other end of the price scale, the Rega Ethos is the most expensive amplifier on our winners list. Sandwiched between those two excellent amps, you'll find the brand new Marantz PM6007, which is another solid upgrade in the successful dynasty. Plus two excellent Cambridge audio amplifiers, giving you options under £1,000. And there's another win for the supremely musical Name Nate XS3. A great mix of amplifiers there then, but only one can reign supreme and for the second time our overall champion is the perfectly positioned Cambridge Audio CXA81. There are familiar brands, but new winners in this year's home cinema amplifier category. Always eagerly contested, it has however become something of a two-horse race in recent years. And sure enough, Sony and Denon once again divvy up the trophies. The Sony STR-DN1080 is making a habit of being our favourite affordable AV amplifier, while Denon has delivered two new models for 2020 that are well worth an award, the AVC3700H and the Step-Up 6700. But for delivering a surprisingly big upgrade on previous generations, the Denon AVC3700H takes home our Product of the Year trophy. We're on to video streamers now and we have two familiar brands sharing the spoils. When it comes to streaming hardware and increasingly the content too, Amazon and Apple are hard to beat and so it proves again this year. The Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K remains the best choice for streaming a whole world of video content for not a lot of money. While the Apple TV 4K is simply the best video streamer you can buy. And often it is worth spending the extra money, which is why the Apple TV 4K is our video streamer product of the year. Now, I hope you've got a drink for this next one as we have 10 winners to get through in our accessories category. And there really is something for everyone. If it's speaker cable you're after, look no further than the AudioQuest Rocket or the Cord Company Rumor X. While for analog interconnects, Cord Company wins at both our price points. If you want a new Phono stage, we'd urge you to consider Rager's Phono MM Mark III, which beats everything we've heard under £500. And with the Vertair Phono 1 Mark II, there's a high-end option if you have a system that justifies the price tag. Atacama takes home two awards as makers of our favourite equipment rack and speaker stands, while the Goldring E3 and the Autophone Quintet Blue are our pick of the turntable cartridges. Got all that? Good. Now you'll be wondering about our product of the year. Well, it may not be sexy, but it will make a big difference to the sound of your system. It's the Rocket 11 cable from AudioQuest. Now here's a great category. With all eyes on wireless headphones, from true wireless buds to noise cancelling over-ear options, there's competition for places, and we have some great winners this year. One new winner we didn't see coming takes our best wireless in-ears under £75 award. It's the Earfun Air. When it comes to true wireless earbuds, there are also wins for Cambridge Audio Melomania 1, Sony WF-1000XM3 and Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2. If you prefer over-ear to in-ear, fear not, we have wireless winners for you. The AKG Y400 are our favourite affordable headphones. Next up, it's the Sony WH-1000XM3, which remain fine choices and are now much cheaper. And finally, 
the brand new Sony WH-1000XM4 deliver a jump in performance that justifies the price. A bevy of beautiful wireless headphones then, which means a tricky to pick product of the year. Well, kind of. In fact, the Sony XM4 headphones are so good, they just had to be our overall winners. We move on now to multi-room systems. And this is a category that has been dominated by just two names in recent years. And this year is no exception, with the mighty Sonos once again being joined by a consistently impressive range of speakers from AudioPro. But thanks to the addition of new hardware and new software, this year it's Sonos that takes the product of the year gong with its peerless range of multi-room speakers. Our next category is portable music players. Yes, while many people rely on their smartphone as the source of their music on the move, there's no denying that a bespoke product will bring you sound quality that a phone can merely hint at in passing, with high resolution digital files making all the difference. This year, while the brands will be familiar, there are three new winners. Only the Cowon makes a repeat appearance from last year, while Sony and Astle and Kern occupy similar positions, but with brand new winners. It's the same brand, different product then for our portable music player product of the year. It's the remarkably named Astel & Kern Ian Norma SR25. which brings us to the last of our mainstream categories, streaming services. Yes, with more and more of us getting our regular music or box set fix via an online streaming provider, and with more options appearing every year, this has become an increasingly hard-bought category. As usual, we have a best buy for one music and one video streaming service, and despite some new arrivals on the streaming service scene this year, it's proved impossible to look past the big hitters once again with Tidal and Netflix taking their respective titles. And our product of the year, with its consistently excellent service, including high resolution streams, is Tidal. Now we come to the last two special awards for this year, and they're two of my favourites. First up is our Hall of Fame entry. Each year, we nominate one product that's not only won in its own category, but delivered a level of performance above and beyond even that of a hallowed product of the year. In the past, this award has gone to speakers, a music system, and an AV amp. This year, we're delighted to award it to the latest model in a series of consistently stunning wireless noise cancelling headphones. Yes, the Watt Hi-Fi Hall of Fame winner for 2020 is Sony's superb WH-1000XM4. which brings us to the very last Watt Hi-Fi Award of what has been a particularly difficult year for all of us. It's great then that we have the opportunity to give an award that celebrates the most outstanding contributions to the hi-fi and home entertainment industry. And this year's recipient of Watt Hi-Fi's Outstanding Contribution Award is a man whose name has been adorning the nation's high street for the past 42 years. He opened his first shop near London Bridge in 1978 
and that store went on to hold the Guinness World Record for the highest sales per square foot of any retailer in the world. But it's not only for the success of Richer Sounds, the business he famously handed over control to his staff last year, that he receives this award. Julian Richer is also involved in, among many, many other things, Audio Partnership, the company that designs and distributes brands such as Cambridge Audio. He has always done an enormous amount of charitable work behind the scenes, and he founded Richer Unsigned, a not-for-profit organisation that promotes undiscovered music. It's my great pleasure to announce that What Hi-Fi's Outstanding Contribution Award for 2020 goes to Julian Richer. And that's a wrap. 31 categories and 111 winners. You can find all the winners on the What Hi-Fi Awards website and please look out for the special awards issue of the magazine which is available both in print and digital editions. Thank you for watching and for your support throughout the year. And congratulations once more to all this year's winners. We look forward to seeing you at next year's event.